triple A Credits are right Hang up the phone and let your heart break on the interlay 24 twice She's on the phone but she's staying on Will Shop Boulevard Old dreams dying Guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a battle A battle of the hot hatches Behind me I have a bath 595 competition And also behind me I have a mini John Cooper wax I'm going to go through the outside, the inside, the performance and the cost to see what's best. So, what is best? Let's find out. So I'm going to start with the Mini John Cooper Works. Now forgive me, it's incredibly sunny so you can't really see... Oh, it's so hot. It's about 30 degrees set in the UK. So, uh, sorry about that, but let's have a look at this Mini. So, yes, the Mini John Cooper Works. So this one is a 2015, a September 2015 car. Uh, it's finished off in thunder grey and it's got bits of red on it. So it's got the red roof, the red uh, oop, red mirrors and red brake, calip red brake calipers. Uh, if we're looking around the back, let's start around the back. So first of all, styling wise, I think it's a great looking car. I really do think it's a really good looking car. It's a little bit rounded and uh, compared to say for example the R56, the previous generation John Cooper works. Uh, it's just a little bit maybe bubbly, um, but you know, I think it looks still, still looks really good. Uh, if we just come down here to the splitter, you can see we've got a pro tuning exhaust, which is a valve exhaust. So in this side of the exhaust has a valve and it opens and it sounds horrendous. It's Sounds really, really good. Uh, moving up in the car, we've got the new Union Jack style lights, uh, which are really good. They're actually an upgrade. They're not; they weren't available on this year of car, uh, but they were upgraded on the car. Uh, we've also got a rear view camera. If I just look in the boot, in the boot we have uh, plenty of storage. If you haven't got anything to store, because it's not very big, uh, but you can do that. And oh, there you go. You can see either stored a golf tee in there so that's probably much what you can get in the back uh, a bit. so yeah in the boot perfect no i'm messing about but you can see that i can put a reasonable size bag in the boot and so they'll have plenty of space uh, for other stuff like people or babies perfect okay so coming around the side of the car you can see we've got the upgraded wheels so these are i believe 18s Oh, questioning myself. Uh, they are 18 inch wheels. Uh, they're diamond cut, which is giving you this silver with the gloss black. And obviously we've said we've got the red brake calipers on the inside. Moving out, I've got the silver trim line, which I know in the new generation you can actually choose black. Uh, on this particular car, we've also got the sunroof as well. Uh, slides all the way back, which is nice. And then come around to the front again. Red brake calipers, you can see a bit more, and if you can see, you can just see there's a little actually John Cooper Works logo on the side there. Around the front, uh, we've got front and we've also got rear sensors in the camera. But around the front, we've got the LED with the Xenons, we've got the stripes with the red stripe on there, uh, and we've just got the nice John Cooper Works styling. Yeah, really lovely car. So, yes, outside, I think. Awesome, I think a big thumbs up for the outside of the car. I think it looks great, I think it's stylish and aggressive. So, awesome on the outside this John Cooper works. Let's have a look on the inside. Alrighty, so, oh, I do love the interior of a John Cooper works. Let's just, I'm gonna sit in the car. Whoa. I'm gonna sit and have a look at it. Look how cool this is. So, one of the best things about John Cooper works is it's still got that retro y type feel. There are lots of big circles like the previous generations, like actually the original one with a little dial in the middle. Now obviously it's got this big dial. Um, you would have seen in say previous generations, actually this was a speedometer, so you would have seen it kind of go up and down. Now they've got a big screen in the middle and I just have my, script, my speed on here. This car's also got a head up display. But yeah, I really, really like it. This car's got nice options on it, uh, I do admit. So it's got nice bits of black on here, piano black. If we look at the seats, the seats are the full bucket seats option uh, with the Alcantara in the middle, the leather on the side and also got this red pinstripe all the way down and onto the side of the bolsters. This comes in and out, in and out, hmm, didn't do that very well. Uh, and also has got the sport uh, green mode, all those kind of things. 
uh, and obviously it's got this Bluetooth exhaust. So you double tap that and the exhaust opens up and it's very, very loud. Also on here we've got heated seats, we've got the rest. So actually, as an interior, I think it's really, really nice. Good work, Mini. So, swapping over to the Bath 595 Competizione. Let's have a look. So straight away is a really nice contrast to the John Cooper works because obviously it's a smaller car and it's such a different profile and yet I think it looks brilliant. So coming down to the front, we've got a really nice front end. We've got a nice splitter on the front with a bath. Uh, we've got a nice placement on the lights. The spotlight's nice and aggressive and obviously got the one there and obviously got one above it um, which looks really, really nice. I think for a small car it's quite difficult to style it aggressively however it's got a nice flat front to it and then it kind of pops up now if you see the standard 500 fit 500 uh, you'll see it's the same design same little bubble but it's really transformed this front end has so transformed the car into an above it's brilliant moving down the side a similar of the john cooper works we've got red brake calipers which are brembo they do say brembo on it uh, and also we've got the little red abarth logo center caps uh, this car is finished off in Actually, a really similar grey to my car, but it's a, it's not a thunder grey. It's just called a grey. I don't know what grey it's called. Uh, and then it's got the a bath little stripe on the side with a bath in it, which is great. Moving down to the side again, it's got a really nice side, side profile. If I kind of come out to them both, you can see how different they are. Maybe the mini, mini is the more traditional shape hatchback, but actually, this is such a nice little shape. It's really got the same shape as the original 500, uh, which they've just then taken and evolved it to what it is today which is really nice so this car is littered with 595 logos which is really nice uh, giving that little spice of life that it is a 500 595 a bath and at the back we've got these quad exhausts two on each side which are really really loud uh, and also as going in we've got these little air vent type bits on here uh, we've got the so you can tell these are the upgraded lights because they've got the little the little plastic bit in the middle whereas normally they just are a light uh, and again it's just denoting 595 on the back if we do move inside it's a little bit of a different story in here compared to the John Cooper works now I would tell you that actually there's really good boot space and you can clearly see it is really good boot space and that's because this is what I use for the dog so I converted the back I've taken the back seats out I've put in this little what we call a boot buddy that's actually what it's called um, but it's just a plastic piece of sheeting that goes all the way around and obviously got the little visor in the middle to keep him safe uh, but also to keep it looking clean so um yeah unfortunately there's not really the same as what a normal one would look like but obviously there's loads of space in there and imagine if you put the back seats down you've still got all this space all the way backwards to forwards so that looks really really good and then we just move to the inside it's going to be a scorching in there so i'm just going to give it a little bit of a second but again I really think it's great. So let's start with the bucket seats because that's a really important point for me. These are the bucket seats. Again, they are like the Mini in that they have the Alcantara. But instead of having the Alcantara in the middle, they've got the Alcantara on the sides with just their vinyl, whatever they use, uh, the cloth on the inset on the middle. You have got the Embar a Bath a Boss logo on there. And also you can see this is all Alcantara along here on both. Let me just sit inside this very boiling car. Okay, so... Where this probably goes up from the Mini is that it has carbon fibre. So this is nice, it's got a carbon fibre 12 o'clock marker. It's got carbon fibre around the steering wheel and at the bottom. Uh, it's also got a nice boost gauge with sport that comes up in the middle. Uh, Alcantara around the top here. And in the middle you've got a touch screen. Uh, you've got obviously the automatic gearbox. You've got air conditioning and bits and bobs. Now, this car isn't as well spec as the John Cooper works. It hasn't got head-up display, adaptive cruise control, actually hasn't got cruise control at all. Uh, but on the flip side, it's got things like the carbon fibre. Well, I say carbon fibre, I assume it's just fake carbon fibre. Uh, it's got the sport gauge, a bit more, a bit more Alcantara in here. Um, it's got a touchscreen, but obviously this is a newer car. So this is a 66 plate, that's a 65 plate. So it's a little bit newer, so it has a bit of newer tech inside. But... For a 595 Competizione, I think it's got really good specs. So it's got the touchscreen, as you see. So it's, a lot of things on here are more of the higher spec on the car. Um, you can see down there, it's obviously got the silver, a bath, brake pedal, and accelerator. And we just look really nice. So we've had a look on both cars on the outside and inside. Let's take them for a drive and see what they're like out on the road. <laughs>
Take shits off Suit is on point Won't cause a scene or stir up No clash on second thought Venice bow forth She's on the job but she's staying on with So let's start with the Abarth 595 Competition this car's got a 1.4 litre turbocharged engine developing 180 brake horsepower, meaning this car goes from 0 to 60 in 6.9 seconds with the automatic gearbox. The automatic gearbox is a five speed system and it's an MTA gearbox, which is a manual transmission automatic. Check out what the manual transmission automatic, the MTA gearbox is like in a previous video. I'll put the link on the screen now. So, what's the performance like? Let's check it out. I'm gonna pop in the sport. I'm gonna go down the paddles, which they have. So it's a manual gear. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Got it, picks up nice and quick. So we're already doing, wow, we're already doing 55, 60 miles an hour. That's a, it's nice and quick. So with the sport mode, the gearbox. Go on! Oh, the little farty pop, that's cool. Right, so I'm getting carried away. Ah, oh, there's a 30. Let me just slow down. So in sport mode, the steering wheel gets nice and heavy, gives you a little bit more feel through the steering wheel. When I say feel, often a lot of it is synthetic, so actually it just makes it heavier, it doesn't actually make you feel the communication between the wheels and the steering wheel, but actually in this car, it's pretty good. You can feel a little bit more with it, and you feel like you can chuck it around a little bit more. Also, the throttle response is a little bit quicker, which is good. You can. It's a little bit more jumpy in, in sport, and also you can hear the gears are holding themselves a little bit longer, um, naturally, of the automatic gearbox. If you're looking for a comprehensive review of the above 595 Competition, I'll put a link on the screen now. Have a little look, it goes through more of the in-depth. I'm only having a look at performance and price in this video, because that's what we're doing, a battle of the pot hatches head-to-head. -head. Oh my god, this is quick. Oh, it's pretty good, it gets up there on the brakes. Ah! Okay, the brakes are a little bit spongy, if I'm honest. Oh, a little bit of jump! <laughs> oh, okay, so in the middle of the screen is a G meter. And all I can see is this little dot kind of bouncing around, which is just a bit of a gimmick thing. It's quite funny, I do like that. That's one thing I do like about hot hatches. I like little things that are just fun. They make really no sense. You don't need a G meter in a bath. But I think this is quite cool. Also, I've got the sport, the sport gauge, which is just a boost. Now, again, personally, I don't really need to know what bar I'm pulling on the boost, but it's quite cool to see the little kind of little dials fling up and down, which is cool. I'll do it now. Come on. So, on to cost. If you're gonna finance the car, I've seen a deal online which is £299 deposit, and you pay £299 a month over a four-year PCB. So actually you can tell it's not that expensive. If you go for a cash purchase, you're looking at a smidgen over 15,000, about 15,300 pounds. Uh, so that's roughly how much the car costs if you're gonna buy it. In terms of running costs, the tax is 145 pounds. If you're gonna fill up the car, it's roughly 40, 35 to 45 pounds, depending on what kind of time, what garage, those kind of things. Uh, in terms of insurance, again, it totally depends on what you are, how old you are, uh, those kind of bits and bobs. So uh, with that one, best not I just tell you, best to just have a little look and research. So overall, it's a pretty cheap car to run, to drive, uh, and to insure. So overall, that's a really big factor. I think that's why a lot of people have these cars uh, as cars of younger people, because they're cheap to run, they're cheap to insure, and they're not that expensive to buy, compared to the Mini at least. I'm still literally no better at handbrake turns. Anyway, that's been the Abarth 595 Competizione. Let's have a look at the John Cooper Works. So welcome to the John Cooper Works. Performance. Oh. Oh. So this car has got a two litre turbocharged engine developing 228 brake horsepower. Meaning this car, Goes from 0 to 60 in 6.3 seconds with the manual and 6.1 seconds with the automatic. The manual in this is a six speed manual and it has rev matching. Oh, yes! Come on! God. So 
yes, the unique thing about this car. The Pro Tune exhaust. Can you hear that? <laughs> it's just out of this world. It sounds like gunfire coming out the back of this car. Oh, I need to calm myself down. car drive well there are two bikes behind so they're probably going to go faster let's see how this car drives oh god this car's quick oh brakes are really good so obviously they've got the John Cooper works brakes and they are really good oh bit of a jump they are really good now see this is a nice tight Left brakes are good, fill it in. The balance of the car is really nice. It feels good on the brakes again and powered, yes. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, this car's so quick. It so, feels so good, so elegant. And actually, so much fun. You can really feel the speed, honestly. Fantastic. It's a really talky engine. It's what they call a twin power engine, which apparently is something called a twin screw. I don't really understand what it is, but God, it's good. Let's spin around and do that again. So let's get on to the point of price. If you buy a manual, you'll be looking at around about £23,000. For the automatics, it's around about £25,000. If you're looking at a PCP agreement, you're probably looking at a few thousand pounds in, and you're probably looking at around about the £300 and £350 mark. Tax, oh, uh, tax was £200, £200 pound, I think. God, it's, it, I did it back in, well, whenever it was, September, and I, I can't remember what it was, but I think it equated to, if you pay monthly, I think it said it's like £17 or something, so it's not that expensive. Uh, when you come to insurance, again, it's the same situation. It's up to you, your experience, your age, so have a look on the compare websites to find out what you'd be like to insure on this car. Other running costs, we're looking at fuel. For a full tank, this car costs around about 45 to 55 pound, depending on how much uh, you put in, how much uh, the fuel is at the time. So not too bad, obviously a little bit more than the uh, bath. Comparing the two, this car is a lot different, but it is a lot more expensive. So you do have a better build quality inside, you do have a quicker car, you have a better put together car. Slightly better, still awful. So we're just going to head back now and I'm going to decide, in my opinion, which one out of these two cars is best. See you in a second. So, the John Cooper Works wins this battle. Yes, the 595 is great to look at, it's great inside, it's, it's fun to drive and it's cheap to run, but the John Cooper Works is just a little bit more fun. It's just a little bit quicker, and for me, it's the most exciting car out of the two. Yes, it's more expensive, but I think it's well, well worth it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like and also comment what you would have chosen out of the 595 or the John Cooper Works. So make sure to subscribe to see those future videos. But for now, I'll see you soon. I've got the time.